What's going on guys, it's the Vintage Card Guy here. Today I'll be showing you all my recent cards. Um, some big cards, some graded cards. So let's hop into this. Starting us off here, we have this 1997 Topps Michael Jordan. And here's the back. That's a long list of stats, man. Six foot six. Best player in NBA. I really like that card. Um, I'll show all the graded cards first here. So we have the 1989 Fleer King Griffey Jr. in a mint nine. So I have this card raw, and here it is in a mint nine. I really, really love King Griffey Jr. now. Like, I don't know what it is or why, but I love King Griffey Jr. You know, he was my age when he started in the league for the, what it was. What, what team did he go to? The brain fart here. The Mariners. Yeah. So, I don't know what it is. Why or whatever. But I'm just obsessed with this guy. With this kid. The kid, his nickname. Here's the uh, 89 Tops Trading King Griffey Jr. Rookie card in a mint nine. This is very exciting. I thought I would never ever have this card ever in my hands. Or even own one for that matter. But here it is. Here they are. Two of his most notable rookie cards in Mint 9 by PSU. Okay. Now that we did a little baseball, show off some football here. Uh, here it is. 1990 Pro Set Deion Sanders, which is pretty sweet. And here's the back. We have 1991 score. Got another one of those. Probably sell the worst one in condition for a quarter. And then hold on to this bad boy here. But those will go in the bow collection. Next we have a most notable player in the NFL. I don't have his rookie, uh, Randy Moss. And this is an 04 Tops. So we're going way back. <laughs> Eighteen years, and here is a really, really cool. I think a showcase Fleer with the with the number eighty four kind of glow in there. These are pretty. This is a pretty sweet card. Uh, one of the best wide receivers in existence, other than Mister Jerry Rice. And here is an O of O one upper deck. And here is another O. Actually, I think this is an O four Fleer. Yeah, this is the O four Fleer. Uh, the corners are pretty rough on this card. Well. The top right one is dinged, but the other two corners look pretty good. Uh, yeah, 04 Fleer Platinum. Never really heard of it. I didn't even know Fleer made uh, football cards that year. And here's a uh, kind of a bigger card. Uh, sadly, the corners are a little rough. It is a 1999 Paramount. Pacific Randy Moss second year football card. Uh, that bottom right corner is uh, pretty bad. 
bottom left is pretty bad. They're both black. I found these cards in a box. A box in my room. So I wasn't expecting them to be in great shape. So Randy Moss, here it is. Second year card. Uh, we'll move on to some more baseball now. Starting us off here, we have this 2001 Upper Deck Babe Ruth Bronx Tales, which is pretty cool. Babe Ruth was the best, I mean, the best slugger of all time, even though Hank Aaron has beat his home run record. And Albert Pujols rests in uh, second place there. And Barry Bonds, in my opinion, should not ever be in the Baseball Hall of Fame. For steroid use. Okay, next is a big card, which in a mint nine is like three or two hundred fifty bucks. So here it is, the 06 tops J Justin Verlander rookie card. This card is in pretty good condition. I mean, the corners, in my eyes, look dinged up, but I, I really like this card. Justin Verlander is a good pitcher. Speaking of King Griffey Jr., as we were talking about him before, we have him in his, uh, this 06 Tops King Griffey Jr. in his red uniform. Uh, his father played with him. I believe score, 91 score baseball has a picture of him and his father together, which is pretty cool. Okay, next is Vladimir Guerrero Sr. I have his son's rookie cards, so 2018 tops uh, update, rookie debut, uh, 06 Derek Jeter. And then 08 would be the the card with the the Mickey Mantle short print. And speaking of Mickey Mantle, right behind him we have the legendary Mickey Mantle. You know, I think it's really cool that they still put these cards like in sets nowadays, it's like an archives card too. Uh, to never forget the names of players that once played before us, before these newer guys. Uh, next is another big card. We have the 2018 Archives Shohei Otani rookie card. This guy is just, he's legendary. Legendary in my opinion. And here's the back. Now I have his uh, Stadium Club Rookie. Um, I can pull that out here quick. Yeah, so I have this one too. This one is eight bucks. And then this uh, Tops one I got for free from a friend for Christmas. Next we have 93 Tops, Greg Maddox. I think this guy was a pretty good pitcher, in my opinion. He could throw the ball wherever he wanted. He's a lot of people's favorites. Probably was never around when this guy was playing, but still cool. Never forgotten. Uh, we got, so I, hope I picked up this 87 Traded Series box. So, I'll show you all the cards from that set, too. Uh, so, here's one of them. It's Fred McGriff. And here's the best one, in my opinion. The... Greg Maddox. I 
Yeah, I think it's weird that they put a a year before the before the card comes out. Like if you were looking at eighty six tops, he he's not there. I don't care why they put a a year out before the card actually comes out. You know, it's like build a car and then release it the next year when you built it that year. But I ain't complaining. I'm thankful for that card. Uh, we have this traded Reggie Jackson. Kevin Michelle. Don't know much about that guy. Okay, we have a player here that died young. I uh, you really don't want to show you guys that card and that dirty top loader, so... Switching them over here. Put your hands together for this 83 Don Russ Tony Gwynn rookie card. Which is off center, but who cares? Everybody's got to be thankful for some junk wax baseball cards, right? I mean, I am. Got to be thankful for everything you have, you know? Okay, we have... Okay, this this card is crisp. In my opinion, this card is really, really crisp. Uh, don't you just love it when you buy something? Buy a card, and it's got a dirty top loader? I think that's... I think that's a shame, you know? So, I'll be showing you guys this in a clean top loader. Uh, we have this 83 tops uh, Tony Gwynn so here are the corners I mean they are crisp very crisp the centering is crisp oh this card I just I love it I put this on one of the top 10 most notable like condition wise cards that I have in my collection yeah this card is really good and there's the back so probably throw it off to an 8 or a 9. So this card is in really good condition. I'll be putting this in some plastic so nothing happens to it. Like a team bag closed, you know, thing. Okay, then we have this 88 tops. Mark McGuire. Gold Cup card. Uh, so this card is in the I would say they're about the same I'm trying to debate which card is in better condition uh but they're both in really good condition for 88 tops this is in really good condition in my opinion the corners are really crisp the back is pretty crisp too so I hope you all like this card because as much as I do for the condition Obviously, Mark McGuire was a steroid user, so throws that under the bus. And now we have the three of these 88 Conseco cards. These 88 three, or these three 88 tops Jose Conseco cards. I'll be selling two of them for a quarter a piece. Let me know if you guys want some. Uh, here we have a 72 tops Hank Aaron, which is off center, but I let it go. I let it fly by, let it fly by, you know? So now I have a 70, 71, and 72, and 73 card, and his 62 tops, which is the most beloved card I have right now. And now we have this 1978 Robin Young. So I have his second, third, I have his, I need his 84 tops and then I'll pretty much have a complete run except for his rookie card, which I need to get someday. I'm hoping if I go to the card show on the 10th of December, I can find a decent priced one. Uh, here's 1980 Tops Robin Young. So I have that one in the collection and it is chipped all along the bottom. But it's
it's a good card to have. Good for completing a run. For Robin Yount. And now we'll get into some modern football cards. Russell Wilson. Here's a Trevon Walker rookie card. Cam Akers full throttle. Justin Fields, he is he's pretty good right now. Making a difference for the Bears. Here is a Mac Jones. He's pretty good right now too. Devontae Adams, sad to see in a Raiders uniform there, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Here is a 22, actually the same year, uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, the second, so that'll be going in that PC for him. We have a Tom Brady, which will be going in the, what is that, 50, 60 cards for him now. We got a Spellbound at Justin Fields. Aaron Rodgers. Bison Spiller. And then we got a Rodgers run for you. So here he is. 2014 season ticket 2015 Bowman twenty fifteen Panini season ticket twenty eleven tops Here's in 06, second year, 2013, here's a couple of parallels coming up, 2014 tops, foils, I meant to say foils, okay, here's 2012 2015 prestige I like these cards these cards they show the full photo they are they don't have borders on them like tops does here is a 2015 uh, foil gold team in the, their 50s uniform there here is a 2019 MVP Contenders Badger Mahomes 2. Here is a winning ticket of Peyton Manning. So I hope you all like the video. Um, I really, really hope you guys like these uh, Mint 9 uh Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards uh, and the Jordan this Jordan over here I hope you guys liked the video let me know what you all are thankful for what you're most thankful or what, what which card you're most thankful for in your collection and I will see you all in the next one